quite contrary is the politics of Aristotle. You know. And um, well, for some reason, it is uh, only the, the way of Plato who determines a certain thinking of politics, this way of thinking that Carl Schmitt uh, uh, named the political theology. Even if Schmitt doesn't understand that exactly, I would say in a Platonician meaning, but that's not the, the question. And I think when we are in a world where there is no, uh, no mean to give this kind of foundation as a transcendent foundation. That means if, when we are in, in a world without God, precisely in the world of uh, nihilism, then it was absolutely normal and natural that the, 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 the temptation, I would say, came to say the community as such, the totality of the community and of mankind should be the foundation of politics. And this is Rousseau, you know. This is Rousseau. And in a certain extent, this is an extraordinary ambiguity in Rousseau, in the social contract of Rousseau, that this book is at the same time a, a book about the, uh, the, the, not the foundation, but how to say that, the creation, the self-creation of mankind as such. You know, and a book about politics. But between both, you know, he writes this, this contract, this, uh, this contract is made from an animal stupid and borne limited, mm -hmm. you know, an intelligent being and a man. So the man comes from the contract and not the, the reverse, because if it would be the reverse, it would be a, 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 a quite different thinking of the contract, which was already by, by Hobbes or Spinoza, for example. But after that, when Rousseau tries to, to found a politics on this ontological uh, self-production of mankind, he he describes uh, a while the thing, and then he writes, but such a constitution would be good only for a people of gods. So, so this, is, this is the reason for why there, there is such an ambiguity in Rousseau and for what some people uh, still now explain that Rousseau is the roots of totalitarianism and some other... So. But I think for us now, it is very important to, to learn about the distinction between the community as such, for example, to think of it through this way of love and in other ways, and politics as the special order where, of course, the community has to it established a law to guarantee a, a, a management as a, a management of justice, equality, the rule, etc. And I was smiling by saying management because um, it should be, uh, I should be ashamed to speak of politics in terms of management. You know? But I think this is precisely uh, today a serious question to know in what extent there is not something. I don't uh, understand me, please. I don't speak of the politics of the managers. But you know, I, I don't know in, in, in Europe today, there is always, always the leftist critic goes on, those socialists are only managers uh, that do nothing else than manage the capital. But precisely there is, there is a very important point. Uh, of course, there are different ways of managing, 
etc. No. But but if if uh, such a sentence can be a, a total radical critique, that presupposes uh, first that we know what others on capital we could right now propose, and uh, first and second second that implies that we we have an idea of politics which immediately goes far beyond any management that is to give the, to not only the law but the total being of community and that is exactly what we have learned um, about uh, in the middle of the of the 20th century so okay no no but you don't I have to bring some order here because I see now that uh, you are the law, you are always, the state, yes. all what you hate. Right, right, right. Yes, the and the order here is now so to. Perhaps we can't make the revolution. Don't, don't forget, ah, I even said revolutionary. So um, I want to collect now your, your questions and let you answer this then as a collective. You know, is, it, is it okay? Yeah, so because then you uh, can only give one speech. And not 15. <laughs> well, I love your speeches. I will stay here until 3 o'clock in the morning okay, if then. necessary. But I, I'm looking, I'm nicht, we should that well to everyone. I think, James, if you still want to say something, you have been the first uh, in advance. Then, Victor, let me collect some others. Other uh, questions? Okay, let's see. Okay, I need a. So James, Victor, John, um, right, James, Alina, um, Victor, uh, uh, Victor, um, then jo. Jay, Joan, Alina, Jen, Greg, Jean, Greg. Looks like three o'clock in the morning. It is. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> um, Jackie from New York. Yes. I'll be last if there's. You you had you had your you had your spots. No, not too many spots for one person. Okay, that's one, two, three, that's enough. That's absolutely enough. All right, uh, please, James. I'm um, bringing the interview um, about your concept of uh, community and concept of being we. Um, I was reminded considerably of, of the way Wittgenstein talks about concepts. The way Wittgenstein. Um, says that a, a bird, a particular type of bird, isn't defined by a specific characteristic of the bird, but by a group of characteristics that the birds, say nightingales, you know, we, we call a group of birds nightingales, they don't have one characteristic, but they have, each one has a characteristic in, in, in common with each other one. And I, your concept of being with very much reminded me um, of, um, of that Wittgenstein concept. However, I also wondered how, although you can use that to define community, how can you use that to define different communities? Okay. Being with. <laughs> being with Victor now. Yeah, this is, my question is somewhat similar to this. Instead of using being with, I'm going to use the word communication. And I really don't, I don't want to debate, and I don't really have a question, but I'd like to point to a place, a topus that we share, that in itself creates a community for us. But I want to uh, focus specifically on, on the one hand, on George Bataille and his notion of community and communication, and Jean-Luc Nancy and his notion of communication and, uh, and community. Specifically, let me, to make this really brief, let me just give two figures. Um, George Bataille talks about his notion that we communicate across our lacerations, our common lacerations, cuts. In, in Bataille, mm -hmm. we, we communicate, it's a laceration. He talks about this in guilty a lot. No, je pas compris. Tu peux pas me dire en français. Dans le coupable, Bataille parle de la communication comme les... Je ne sais pas comment... Oh, scars! Ah, oui, d'accord. Oui, d'accord.